The first panel, a first pet, sorry, is from Visbot Solutions. And uh, they have Peter Lawrenson, who's going to introduce him. And we're going to invite Peter up to introduce him right now. Thank you, Peter. Great, thank you, that's working. Um, I left Queenstown, my hometown, at about 8 o'clock last night, drove through to Dunedin through snow and ice, uh, spent the night there, dealt with closed roads, uh, went out around coastal Otago and got to Timaru uh, four minutes before the plane left just to get here. That's how important the day is for... I've got some other meetings to do as well, but that's beside the point. <laughs> right, Team Visbot. Have we got that up there? Yes. Right, it's not a nerdy convention. It's not got fancy clothes and uh, props. It's about business and consumer focus, so it fits right into the, uh, what we're talking about. Accelerator, when I first heard about it, I thought it was an app name. It's a team approach with passion, and they're going to tell you about the outcome. What they asked me to do is tell a couple of things about why, why it's been important for us involved in the industry being involved with this, uh, this group of people. Um, for me, urgency, eye on the target uh, and time bound. That's what's been really good, a short uh, period to see what's come out. Not all the ideas are new, but what the team have been working away on is formatting, presenting, cajoling and persuading, and you're the people who are going to be persuaded. Um, what has been success so far? Oh, I think... Um, they haven't been constrained by unnecessary protocols that we, both in local and central government, sometimes get uh, involved or hampered by. They've got singular focus. And um, I went in to visit them in the office today, and that was the first time we'd met face to face. The rest had been by Skype or on the phone or by email. So that's today's world. I was going to talk about Rumsfeld and, and uh, the knowns, the unknowns and the known unknowns, and that's a big long um, speech if you go right through the whole thing. But what the team have been working on is trying to get rid of some of the known unknowns. So you'll see what they uh, talk about in a second. Bizbot is a solution which will solve an initial problem, in my view, in the team's view, but it will then move on to guide behaviour towards efficiency uh, for all the people that are involved, and they'll explain who the uh, various participants are. Good things about their system at this stage, it's a bolt-on. It doesn't involve a whole lot of changes from, a, well, in my field, working with um, uh, local government. Um, you're going to hear about their planned approach into the future, about piloting. However, and that seems to be quite conservative. I reckon it could be actually much, much more bold than that. Um, the uptake could be rapid. All it needs is two qualities from the people in here, and that is bravery and the vision to see that what they're talking about has, has some legs. In accelerated terms, it's time to put the pedal to the metal. I'm going to hand over to Matt Cobbin. He's the presenter from Visbot. Uh, these guys have done all the work to date. Oh, the only thing I should say about no props, you'll notice that Matt's walking with a bit of a limp. Uh, he's got a, 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 a prosthesis or something on his leg. That was because uh, building consensus he had to deal with before, he dropped one on his foot and broke his foot. So that's what this is going to be a solution about. So I'll hand you over to Matt. A big welcome for Matt. Mojo Coffee is a vibrant and expanding business. They open three to four new cafes in New Zealand every year. Each cafe requires its own building consent, and each time they experience a minimum of a two-week delay. Mojo Coffee have no visibility into the process. Subsequently, they cannot plan or budget for these delays that are costing them over $5,000 per week. And they're not alone. In the 60,000 consents granted in 2014, 25,000 did not meet building code requirements and experienced delays. This is costing New Zealand building owners over $90 million every year. Hi, I'm Matt Cobham from Visbot. We're making building consents cost less by allowing businesses to see more. The delays in the building consent process are primarily due to the visibility and communication with the RFI sent out by councils. A council RFI, or request for information, is a formal letter sent by the council that causes these delays and outlines the information that is wrong or missing from the application. This causes pain for three key stakeholders. There are the building owners, like Mojo Coffee, their agents that act on behalf of them to compile and submit the application. This is most usually the architect. And then there's the councils themselves. For Mojo Coffee, the daunting process is a black hole. 50% of their anxiety opening these cafes comes from the building consent. For agents, there is no window into what information will be in the RFI. Subsequently, they cannot proactively manage their own or subcontractor resources. 
This delays the time to respond to the RFI and forces them to increase their fees to cover their costs. For the councils, on the other hand, they're frequently receiving applications that have wrong or missing information. This increases the number of RFIs and makes them look like the bad guys. These three key stakeholders have been searching for a solution. Let me introduce you to VizBot, a customer-facing web application that integrates into existing council software systems. Through VizBot, building owners and agents now get visibility into the status of their consent, get better direction around what information is required, and are now able to respond faster after an RFI has been sent out. And this is how we do it. VizBot's smart application guides our agent through the application process seamlessly. Now, when our agent creates a new application, they are asked all the information that the council needs to grant that application. Once submitted, notifications tell our agent of the status of their consent, so they don't need to go searching. Our dialogue window correct, connects our agent directly to the council process. They now see notes made by council officers and gain insights into what information is missing so they can be better prepared for when the RFI is sent. When they do receive the RFI, they already have the information and can respond right away. But what does this mean for our three key stakeholders? Well, for councils, as they're now receiving better quality applications, there is less waste and greater efficiency. But more importantly, they can provide the customer service and satisfaction, which is something they've been striving for. For the agents, there is more transparency into the process and they can better manage their clients and subcontractors. They can spend 30% less time on admin, which equates to a direct cost saving. And for our friends back at Mojo Coffee, they now get better clarity around when the application will be granted. This reduces unexpected additional fees and returns a sense of control back to the process. Now, VizBot isn't trying to compete or replace any existing <coughs> projects or systems. Instead, VizBot is a light touch integration that complements these systems to bring even greater value. Today, we're already uh, working with two of the major players in this space. The first is GoGet, a consent processing and inspection tool used in 26 of the 68 councils in New Zealand. The other is ProductSpect, a national product database with over 25,000 manufacturers' specs. By integrating these tools and bringing in our customer-facing web application, we can seamlessly provide councils with more complete and consistent information. VizBot's been co-designed with building owners, agents, and councils. In just three months, we have had ongoing engagement with over 10 building owners requiring building consents, over 10 councils in the north, and South Island, and over 40 agents, including architects, engineers, and property developers. We're excited to announce Prime Site Homes, Wellington's most awarded home, home builder and consent agent, have already agreed to pilot our prototype post demo day. In the next 12 months, we want to partner with three councils to run pilots with. Once we've completed these pilots, we will roll out the service through partnerships with council clusters all the while iterating and improving the user experience and functionality. We would like to thank MB for the ongoing support and funding during this phase. Now, the benefits of VizBot aren't restricted to only building consents. We already know that the service can be scaled towards other council services like resource consents and liquor licensing. We intend to utilise the VizBot platform for these services to bring even greater functionality to business and councils. We haven't been able to achieve this without an awesome team. We have Samson from Education New Zealand, a background in marketing, Nadia from MB with a background in business analysts, myself from the private sector, a background in civil engineering, I'm the CEO of SiteSorted. We have Mohammed from France with a background in software engineering, and Glenn from IR with a background in service design. We also have Peter Lawrenson who introduced me tonight. He's a building services manager at Queenstown Lakes District Council. Now Peter is our first advisory board member and has been instrumental to our success over the last three months. 
Despite our team being awesome, we can't do this alone. We need an additional three councils who are willing to commit resources and funding to running these pilots and wanting to be the game changers in the building consent process. Our vision at VizBot is to bring smarter, simpler software to councils. In just three months, we have created a product, established working relationships, and proven there is a need for smarter technology in government. Just imagine what we can do in the next few years. If you would love to be a part of this, then we would love to talk with you afterwards. Thank you very much.